Guys, it is time that we deliver the W to Microsoft because the Surface Duo 2 is getting Android 12 L. It does not mean the Surface Duo 1 is getting it, which does kind of suck. But you know what? At least Duo 2 is getting it. And this is an absolute W. I just ordered a brand new Duo 2, guys. I, As you guys know before, I have the... um what's called glacial model i ordered the obsidian model which i can't wait to unbox on the channel and take a look at it and also take a look at it with the brand new features so yes it's coming from windows central here android 12 alpha surface duo to feature windows 11 inspired uis designed updates so oh my gosh guys i am so freaking excited about this you don't even understand right now when i saw this article posted today i was like bruh finally finally we're getting this into because first off not only is this just a really great like okay let's just start with the fact it's a really great software it's designed for large screen foldable phones and tablets android 12 adds so much new features when it comes to security a uh, customization just all around, all around features I, I bro is that we waited for this for so long that now it actually is a thing. It just absolutely is amazing. Um, and then obviously this also puts the Surface Duo 2 in the limelight. And the fact that we're getting Android 12 out on the Duo 2 means there will be a Duo 3. That's guaranteeing. This right now is guaranteeing a Duo 3. Because if they're going to put the effort and time into getting Android 12 out on this device... There has to be a Duo 3 right around the corner, uh, especially because that's what that's going to launch with. So, you know, we had Android 11. We got on the Duo 1. Obviously, Duo 2 had Android 11. Launch with it. It's something that we were waiting forever to get on the Duo 1. Duo 2 launches with Android 11. Same concept here. We waited forever to get Android 12 L on the Duo 2. And then the Duo 3 launches with 12 L or possibly 13. Because if the Duo 3 comes out in August of next year, that's going to be prime time for Android 13 to be out. Now, Android 13 expands even more when it comes to affordable phones um what we're going to start seeing more going forward in general when it comes to affordable phones is any software that comes out is automatically optimized for those phones um the android 13 already has certain layouts and certain certain screens that are meant for affordable phones that tablet phones so again like i said this is just an absolute w by microsoft it does say um windows based ui design which i think is kind of cool and weird at the same time i wonder how that what that means i can't wait to test it out in all honesty but again zach bowden sorry for not going and shouting you out for making this article i'm sorry but once i saw i read this article i knew once i made a video i was not going to be able to contain myself because <laughs> guys the countless videos i made about this and wanting this so bad well we can say one thing the iPhone 14 Pro. I'm not gonna throw it. It's brand new. I pr I can't. Okay, I didn't throw it. Um, done. D O N E. Duo Two is back to the daily driver. The second this comes out, there is no more iPhone. It is Surface Duo Two. And from there, I don't know, maybe we'll go on to the Galaxy Z Fold 4 again. Maybe we'll switch back. Or maybe a new phone will come out. The Google Pixel 7 Pro, I might give it a chance, guys. 7 up below if I should give it a chance. But anyway, though, this article does go into talking about how the Android 12 update for Surface Duo 1 2 is in the final testing stage. Okay, so it is a Duo 2. Duo 1 and 2. Okay, so I did not even realize the Duo 1 and 2. I just saw Duo 2. So likely will come out in late October or early November, assuming there's no uh, show-stopping bugs found before then. So we are getting them on both devices? That's, that's, a, that's a, even a bigger W than I thought. That's a bigger W than I actually thought. Um, also, yes, 12L taskbar. That is probably the biggest feature everyone's going to talk about when we do get this update on the Duo 1 and 2 is the actual taskbar. Taskbar is absolutely amazing. Um, so if you guys have not seen my Z Fold 4 review or any of my Z Fold 4 videos, pretty much it's a little taskbar at the bottom of the screen, and it's like that big. And it pretty much you can have every customized to have every application you want 
on that bottom part of the screen and you go from one application to the next one it's blazing fast it's absolutely probably the best feature you can have it does go away when you're not using it and then once you go ahead and touch the bottom it pops back up it's just a really nice feature it's one of those things where it's like you don't really think that you want it going into it but once you get it you're like wow this was actually a really great feature to have. So it's one of those type of concepts. I absolutely love it. I know it's a very fan favorite because everyone does go ahead and talk about it. So what does this mean for the Surface Duo 2? If we are getting, again, Android 12L and the Duo 1, Duo 2, obviously for, the Android, for Duo 1, what this means is this is probably the last and final hurrah for the Duo 1. Um... I don't see us getting anything else big on Duo 1. But for the Duo 2, this really perfects Microsoft moving forward. It shows that Microsoft is going to probably make a Duo 3. And they're going to continue to work on the Duo 2. And really get this device where I still don't think it's going to be a flagship type device. But they're going to try to push this more and more into the limelight of being a flagship type device. And that's the best thing they can do right now. Okay. They had two options. Let it go and move on from this device or try your best to fix it and perfect it. And they're trying their best to perfect it and perfect it. And I think this is an absolute W for Microsoft. I still... The update will feature a refreshed design with Windows 11 inspired fluent elements in many areas. So it's a notification shade settings app in the Microsoft Launcher activity feed. Okay, so it's going to literally look like in Windows 11 and Android combined. Uh, the contract says to expect more blurred surfaces, expect in uh, effects in number of places throughout the OS, and well for more fluid animations when using gesture navigations to open and close applications, uh, toggle buttons, notification boxes, and also update to reflect the new design style. Android 12L will mark the first time. Yeah, that, yep. Yeah. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. It will also display your battery, your pen's battery level. Those are new pen menu interface that appears when the user taps the top of the Surface Slim Pen 2. Slim into Windows 11 menu. The interface is fully customizable with the ability to start to add shortcuts to any app you have installed. And it will also display your pen battery level. Bro. I'm telling you right now, Microsoft has taken the biggest W here. And <sighs> this is going to be better than Z Fold 4. I'm sorry. This is going to be better than Z Fold 4. Microsoft, you officially have taken the biggest, fattest W right now. I can't believe this. I really honestly can't believe this. I really can't. This is, bro, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Just tell me down below, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.